Okay guys, um, just out here, gonna get some 6-8 Western on paper. I just took one shot, I was about three inches high, so I got that adjusted, but uh, I got a box of this uh, Silver Series, and it's 170 grand, it's supposed to be going 29.20. Um, I got the Garmin Chronograph here, so we're gonna check that out as well. And let's uh, sling some lead, so we'll see how this does. I do believe this stuff is very similar to the uh, cheaper Winchester stuff. That's the soft point because that's that's what these are. If you can see that. But, um, so I've heard that those aren't that accurate. So we'll see how these do. But anyway, put some down let down range. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm about maybe an inch low and an inch and a half left, but I'm just going to shoot a group and see how these group. Uh, that one was 29.67. The box says 29.20, so that's pretty impressive. Pretty good so far. 29.46. Yeah, that one was a little off. And 29.49. So that's the Silver Series stuff. It looks like uh, that one hit just about at the, oh, an inch and a half to the right of the other two. So and the other two are practically touching. So um, I think I might just throw another one down there and at least get a, like a four shot group anyway. And that one was high by quite a bit. So I don't know if that's the inconsistency they're talking about with this particular ammunition. Um, two of them are touching and the others are not so great. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the Acubon long range and I'm gonna to try to get this thing dialed in tight because I'm that's the one stuff I really want to I want to perform well. So um, we'll see you back here in a few. Okay, uh, just thought I'd come back in for a second here, and the uh, the four shot average was 29.54, max was 29.67, and the minimum was 29.46. So um, that stuff is plenty hot for what it's advertised for. So, way to go, Winchester. Oh, this is the Browning stuff, actually. Browning Silver Series. So, anyway, that's the story on that stuff. So, this is going to be the Acubon Long Range. And uh, we already did a, I already chronographed this stuff. So, they were 2966 average. So, um, we'll just, uh, I'm just going to try and get this dialed in and have some good groups. Go from there.
I'm going to be shooting at the upper left uh, diamond on my target. Okay, so it looks like it's just on the edge of the paper, probably two inches left, or an inch and a half left. Okay, make a quick adjustment there. All right, we'll try it again. That was uh, 3,011.9. That stuff is scooting. Really tell what's going on. Is that two right next to each other? Pretty close, yeah. Just on that left hand, low on the left hand edge of the diamond? Yep. Okay. That's what it looks like to me. A little more magnification there. Yep. Okay. We need some yeah, more. pretty close. Alright. I probably dialed it the wrong way, you know me. There you go. Low and slightly left. Okay, so I need to come up an inch. Okay, I think we're going to be on after this one. The widget looks great. Oh, oh helps if you got more ammo in there. <laughs> Throw a couple more in there. Okay, let's throw that other one down real quick. Slightly low and slightly right. Yeah. Well, all that good and uh, I'll go down and get the target and show you guys how this thing did and um, get this thing ready to go for hunting season. So anyway, I'll be back. All right, this was the 170 uh, Browning Silver Series. And my first two shots were here. And I just shot a group. I didn't do any adjusting. Then one, the next one was here. Then the other one was clear up here. So, I mean, that's... You know obviously about a just under a three inch group um, not great but that's what i'm hearing this stuff does and then this one here was the uh acubon long range and i had to dial it in a little bit uh so then my third shot was here and the second shot was here in the same that was just on the same hold so um 
and that's probably three quarter for those two shots it's not really a group but uh, it gets me where I need to be and when I have more time I can sit down I got some more shooting to do with the copper impacts as well so anyway thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video